Well, what's up, fellow Airstreamers who are looking to improve their battery boondocking power capacity? Um, if you're looking to do something in an Airstream prior to the 2017 battery box, here's a great option for two 6-volt batteries that fits, barely fits inside the standard battery box. Now, this is a bit of a, what we did to make these brand new 220 ampere hour batteries fit in our existing Group 24 battery box. So we did some measurements and we did some uh, length measurements. Turns out that the battery is about 12 inches and uh, the opening was just a shy bit too short. So to get that done, we took the rivets out of the battery box door measured and double checked everything else, took out the battery tray for working on this and actually burnished some of the existing rust out and treated it with some uh, rust reformer as well as some other um, uh, materials to prevent that from continuing to rust in there. So what we did is uh, uh, coated all this up, let it dry and notice that we had to take a little bit off the inside tab where the door hinges and so um, if you remove the three rivets there and cut away just two, three, eight sections where the batteries would slip, and it comes away pretty easy. It did a little of this with a, a handsaw as well as a jig, and it comes off pretty easy, and you just sort of peel those out, and that extends the ability to drop these 12-inch batteries in this original battery box. And uh, we also came back in and put some rust inhibitor along the new cut, painted that out so it's going to be solid and not rusting again, leaving the center tab for screw or for the um, rivet, rivet side. The uh, battery tray cuts easy with the standard uh, knife, but we ended up not using it. Um, probably put it back in at some point, but just tidied up all the connections and everything and um, made sure that we had enough room. Now, I'm... Uh, I personally about 235 pounds and 6'5", and I can tell you that these things are 72 pounds. Um, they're pretty heavy, and you got to really watch what you're doing when you lift them. But you can see they eventually just slip right in, nice and snug. Uh, and again, with the battery box hinge off while you're mounting these back in there. And uh, there's about an inch or so length exposed inside so you have a little bit of airflow and you have a little bit of room in there to wiggle around if you need to. Dropping off the uh, second battery went a little bit easier it just dropped right in without too much difficulty, you can see. And um, it has these really nice removable straps too that you can actually just slide out um, and remove them and store them. Um, but be careful uh, to use the right size terminal. The smaller terminal on the negative and the positive terminal would have a larger terminal. And you can remove these straps so that uh, it makes it virtually impossible for anyone to try to skip off with these batteries especially with the door hinge riveted back down. We have just enough clearance, um, about a quarter inch clearance on top to not hit the uh, positive terminal. And we put this back on. We sped it up just to save a little time here. and all the way back to normal. And again, by putting this back in, you cannot remove the batteries. They're just a little too long, but that prevents anyone else from doing the same. And you uh, should um, notice that this is just a, a combiner cable. It should be both black. But that's how we did it on Airstream, and I hope you do the same and get some better boondocking time.